Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I decided to do another daily vibe for the 28th. I did one, and I downloaded it, but I decided to delete it because it was too personal. <laughs> so, you know, 322 people got to watch it. So, if you did, congratulations. <laughs> Anyhow, um, so... Yeah, we're going to do a different one, and I'm not going to reveal any personal information. Um, we're just going to start over. Let's see what we got here. We're going to start with this deck right here. I have to tell you that there's a release. There is a release. The very first card was the release card, which is the death card. Okay, the very first card that came out. Um, so somebody is releasing and starting over. Just like I am right now. I deleted and I'm starting over. So, what do we got for the 28th? Done, gone. I didn't just unlist, I deleted. That is, that's a true release right there. So we got somebody here that is, you know, probably hitting that delete button, right? This is for the 28th. This is a reading for somebody. It's not for everybody. This reading is not sign specific. It is a preview of what's to come, perhaps. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid you know, a lot of times these readings, sometimes they happen the next day, the day that it's supposed to, but quite often it's a few days out. Is The timing is absolutely fluid. What do we have for the 28th? Ooh, new vitality. This is the Ace of Wands. This is enthusiastic. This is a new vision, a new energy, re-energized, a new beginning, something exciting. We have an exciting new beginning here, an exciting new start. A blessing. We're going to get one more. Ooh, the emperor. This is the leader, the boss, taking charge. <clears throat> well, we have the emperor here. Whew, taking control. We have somebody here that... has a plan. This guy has a plan. He's been enlightened. He's going somewhere. He's got a vision. That makes complete sense. So we have somebody here that is taking the lead based on some sort of vision. They have re This person has received a vision and he is going for it. He's made the plan and now he's about to take action. So yeah, we have somebody here that is about to take action. And this guy is going to be successful because he made a plan. So we have, this guy is the boss. This guy is very strong, dependable, wise. Huh. New energy, new vision. Hmm. I'm the boss. <laughs> That's what that is. I'm the boss. Following the plan, we're going. I made the plan. Now I'm going. I'm, I'm taking action. So this guy has made a plan, and he's about to take action. All right. This could be a father. This could be a husband. This could be a new man entering your life. This is a very strong man. Whoever this man is, 
Ooh, this is not good news right here. The Page of Wands reverse. That's not good news. This is... Oh, well, let's get the rest of them. Mm. Ooh. I believe. I have faith. Faith in this relationship. Faith. can't move on it's been can't move on from a relationship <laughs> somebody is having a hard time moving on from a relationship or they have been but then again this guy has been enlightened as well so this could be the same person now this is Jesus consciousness right here somebody has been through some sort of awakening they have become consciously aware of where happiness is and they've been staying in a troubled space, in a troubled position, you know, in troubled thoughts. They've been staying in a place where it's not happy, where it's just troublesome. Lack of confidence here. <laughs> but the emperor takes action. This guy, he is strong. He is wise. He is noble. He is a warrior. That's why he's the leader. He's been through hell and back. He has. He's learned from his experience. We have a very experienced individual here who <laughs> he has the plan and he has the plan in his hand. So he's made a plan. He's got like the blueprints, you know. He's he's made a plan of some sort. He's got this new vision. He's going to go for it. This is go for it. So we got somebody here. It's a masculine. It is masculine. I don't care if you like me or not. That is a is about to take action. This guy is gonna take action. It's so exciting and it's so attractive and there's opportunity for growth and it's just <laughs> beautiful, really it is. <clears throat> Worried about his family, worried about the relationship. He's been worried. There's regrets. But this, there's no time to waste. This guy is on the move. He's on the move. He's been divinely guided. He has. So, yeah, we got somebody here that has been divinely guided. I mean, you could. this is a guidance counselor. The Hierophant is a teacher. It's a guidance counselor. It's a spiritual guidance counselor. Whoever it is, it's a mentor. It's It could be the, your priest. It could be God. It could be a higher power. It could be um, a counselor, you know, in this world, some kind of counselor. Anyway, somebody has, it could be his inner guide, okay? This could be your gut. It's somebody has given him the message that he, I need, you need to go. You need to go. He has received the message from somebody that it is time to go. Get your ass in gear. That is what this is. So, we got somebody here that is moving, and they are. They say that i got to follow the plan. This is part of the plan, and i got to follow the plan. So, I feel like we have somebody here that gets this new vision from somebody or whatever, and they just decide to go. There is definitely some sort of fear here. It's like despair. There's despair over a relationship. There could be regrets. There could be guilt. It could be because of the family. It could be because of the children. It could be because at one time it was so happy. You know, it was there was a lot of happiness here. But this, you know, maybe this relationship has come to an end. Somebody feels really guilty and now the, here they come. Ten of Wands reversed. This is dropping the weight, dropping the baggage, dropping the burden, breaking free from a negative situation, a negative nelly. So somebody may be breaking free from somebody that held them back. They could have children that were, you know, holding them back or something like that. Or people that, you know, don't really support them, you know. People that are jealous. People that are, you know, they could be friends that aren't really friends. You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful who you trust. 
hopefully you're wise enough to know who your friends really are because you could be dealing with some people who aren't really your friend. They don't have anything good to say. They don't, you know, do they take do they take ownership of your life? Are they the boss of your life? Anyway, be careful. Be careful with what your friends tell you because they might not be really your friends. I'm just being honest with you. Sometimes you're better off following your own path. Don't let your negative Nelly friends <laughs> block you from happiness or hinder your happiness. So it feels as though we have somebody here that gets this new vision. This is the Ace of Wands. This new desire to take back control, to take control and go their own way. This is a loner. I'm going my own way. Somebody has been enlightened about where happiness is. But there's definitely some fears. There's some regrets. There's some guilt. There's some sadness. There's despair. This is despair. It feels as though we have an opportunity for a lot of happiness here. A rebirth even. Somebody may be wanting to come back. This is going back. They've been watching. They've been observing. Somebody may be wanting to go back. They've definitely been observing. They've been standing in the background and they've been watching and planning. This person is wise, very wise, very, very, very wise. Um, <laughs> this person is very, whoever this person is, and I think it's a man, okay? I know all you women that you, you want to take the uh, glory in all of it, and that's the truth. Women want to take all the glory, and that is... I am authentic and that's the truth. We have a masculine here that is in control. Whether you like it or not. And that's the truth too. That's what I see. This masculine has the authority at this time. The decision is in his hands. The plan is in his hands. He's making the decision, not you, feminine. No. Where's the females? It's, this is, this is, this is, this man has a new vision. And he is about to take control. He's going to go after what he has been planning. He's been planning to do something and he's about to do it. There's been a couple of people, at least two people, that have been holding him back. These two people, maybe they were saying negative things, or they don't agree with his plan. Or they don't agree with, you know, his desires or whatever. And maybe, you know, the emperor is ruled by society. Maybe, you know, that's why he didn't follow the plan for so long because of what everybody else was saying. I really feel like that's what we have here. I feel like we have this masculine that is about to <laughs> take action. That's what I see. He's about to take action. Even though I think that <sighs> he may be afraid of commitment. He may be afraid of rejection. Um, I feel like he's probably dealing with a feminine who this feminine will probably have to really think about this. She will probably have to um, sleep on it. Okay. She probably will have to sleep on it. It will probably cause her a lot of, of anxiety and she, she might not even be able to sleep at all. Okay, she may not be able to sleep at all. I feel like this guy, whoever this this guy is, is rushing in. This guy is, is like, here he comes. And it's going to cause the feminine to probably be like, oh my God. Oh my God. This is an opportunity for a relationship. Now, I don't know if I want it. I don't know if I want this. I don't know if I need this stress in my life. I don't know if I want this stress. I don't know if I trust. I don't know if I believe. 
I, I, I don't know. This person may have hurt her in the past. You know, she's got a weapon in his hand. But he's coming with the truth. This person is coming with the truth. He's coming to speak the truth. He's been divinely guided to do so. He's coming. He has faith. He probably has faith that he, if he comes with the truth, he can heal this relationship. He's been unable to move on. Mentally move on. He may have gotten himself involved, involved with another person, you know, to fill the void. But I feel like that has been dropped. This other person may have been dropped or they're about to be dropped or something like that. Anyway, I feel like we have a, a, a masculine that has been um, enlightened. And he is about to deal with um, his fears, you know. And I think there's a message that's coming through that is going to cause some conflict. It's going to cause the feminine to feel conflicted. I feel like this person wants another chance. They want to renew. They, they, they may say something that shocks you. And I don't need the tower card. I feel that. I feel like this is a very, this is a shock. This Knight of Swords is a shock. It is absolutely a shock. I feel as though there's going to be some sort of shocking news that comes in that causes stress about a relationship. I feel as though we have somebody here that's unable to move on and they may want to, you know, rejuvenate something, you know, they may want to heal a relationship. Somebody's coming out of hiding. They have, this is a plan and they've made their plan. It's like they've, they've got a plan and they're about to take action. So be prepared. This is somebody like arriving in a hurry and it's going to cause this person to be <laughs> in deep thought nine of swords I mean this person is going to be like wow wow I don't know I don't know if I can I don't know if I can trust you I don't know if I can believe you you know I don't I don't know I don't know if I can believe in this So I feel like the 28th is a day that could end in some sort of renewal. This is an opportunity for a rebirth. Somebody's seeing the light. I saw the light here, then this is the light, and this is the light. So we have somebody here that is seeing the light. Or they've seen the light. It's like they reach a point of collapse. It's like they hit their knees. They fall down. This is weakness. There's grieving, there's sadness. So I think we have somebody here that has been grieving. And they may their health may have declined because they weren't following their heart. And now they get this new vision, they get this new enlightenment. And they decide to take that path. Because this is a, they do. It's like they decide to take that path. I think it's an instant decision. It's like an instant, this is it. That's where my happiness is. I gotta go. So I feel like that's what we got here. I feel like that's what we got. I feel like this person is ready to face their fears. There's some tears here. There's tears and there's sadness and there's crying. 
over a relationship. Somebody makes a decision to heal. They want to come back. It's almost like somebody's coming back or there's no going back. I don't know. This is all very confusing. It is very confusing. It's like I can't move on. I can't move on. That's what I keep hearing. Hearing I can't move on. I can't move on. Please forgive me. Can we start over? <laughs> this is a fresh start. It really is. So I feel like we have a masculine. And for all you women out there that want to think this is you. <laughs> wake up, please. Please wake up. This is a message from my guides. Fuck the cards. This is not you. This is a masculine taking the lead. So be prepared. Here he comes. Here comes a masculine. This is a masculine heading towards happiness. He may have to leave behind because this is the end of a relationship. I'm just being honest with you. He may have left behind a relationship to go after extreme abundance. So I feel as though there's probably going to be tears shed. These could be tears of happiness. These could be tears of tears, happiness, happiness. They could be tears of happiness. For this feminine who has been in a state of despair waiting for this. I don't know who this is for. But this is an exciting opportunity to start over. If this is what you want, congratulations. I think there's going to be a message that is that comes through that it may make you may make you feel sick to your stomach. It may. It may make you feel sick to your stomach because it's such a shock. Okay, it's a shock. Sorry to say that, but that's what I feel. I felt I felt the pit in my stomach. That's what I got. This reading may or may not be for you. And I'm going to tell you one more time. This is the masculine taking the lead. And if you are the woman, find your strength to restrain yourself. Please, know your value. Because once you know your value, he will too. But until you do, until you do, you're weak to him. You don't know your value, neither does he. Good luck. <laughs>